Hello, and welcome to the instructional series. In this video tutorial, you are going to learn material handling onto the 3D Experience platform. Now the first step is to import a material onto the platform. In order to import it, your material should be into the input file format. For this class I am going to use reference material that is titanium. So here onto my screen, you can see that the material is in INP format. And all the dimensions are in SI unit. So, let's try to open this file onto the platform. Now, let's go to the platform. So here into the specification tree, you will see the bridge geometry without any material assigned. So now we need to assign the titanium material to entire structure. Before that, I will show you how we can prepare the default unit system onto the platform. So from the top bar select, Me Menu, and go to the Preferences, and click on Parameters and Measure. After that click on Units tab. And here into the Unit section, we can edit the units of the parameters manually. For example, if I select Length as a parameter, and here, if I scroll it down, we can set the unit as per your preferences. For this session, we are taking default unit system as MKS. And now, I am going to click OK, to set the unit system. Now, to import a material onto the platform, you just go to the Add menu onto the top bar, and select Import. And you are going to get this pop-up window. Then. Select the abacus underscore materials dot INP format. Now, from the browse icon, select the desired file. Click open. And after that go to the unit section. As we know that, the default unit system of the platform is in MKS. And our input file is in the SI system. So you don't need to worry about the conversion because the platform will take care of it. But the only prerequisite is to assign an exact unit system, as that of your material input file. So make sure to assign the same unit system. And here all my dimensions are in SI unit. Therefore, I am going to click on the OK tab, and close this window. Now, we have a material into the specification tree. Just double click on it. Here, if you just go to the different material properties. For example, if I go to the density tab, and it is in kg per meter cube. Hence, it seems that all the units are converted properly. Then, cancel this window. After that, let's switch to the modeling app. And from the action toolbar, select the tool section. And click on this arrow which is next to the material browser tab. Here, you will see different options like duplicate materials. Create Materials, Delete Applied Materials, Pick Materials, and Material Browser. So let's try to walk through these options. For example, you can select the Create Materials to create any material onto the platform. Also, you can assign the imported or created material to the part body by using the Material Browser option. Next, if you want to delete any assigned materials, you just need to select Delete Applied Materials. Now, let's explore a few of these options by first selecting it Pick Materials. Then switch to the Material Editor tab. Select your desired material. And then I am going to assign it to the entire part body. Click on this part body. And select the green check mark to complete this process. Next. If you want to delete the assigned material, click on this arrow, and select Delete Applied Material option, and select this assigned material. You can also assign the imported material, using the Material Browser option. Hence, select this option, and right click on this material. Then, click Apply. Next. Close this tab and select your required part. Also, there is another way to assign the material. Before that, we will try to delete this material. 
So now I am going to click on 3D search window and select my content tab. So here my content window has been popped up. And then I am going to select the imported material. Right click on it and select apply. After that, let's close this window. And apply this material to the required part. So this will conclude your material assignment session.